business. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you to my friend and the ranking member on the Budget Committee who has done an excellent job exposing um, these terrible schemes to the American people this Congress. Madam Speaker, America does not need and cannot afford this junk. America doesn't need 80,000 new IRS agents snooping in our private transactions. These are politically weaponized bureaucrat bullies that we are looking to hire more of. America cannot afford $1.5 trillion in new taxes while federal bureaucrats haul off and spend $4.1 billion on electric bicycles. Do they realize that this will use more fossil fuels, more petroleum products to create electric bicycles than a conventional bicycle? I don't think so, and I think they've lost their ever-loving minds. $7.8 billion for environmental justice going towards woke universities, 100 billions for amnesty workarounds as our southern border is completely invaded by nearly 2 million illegal aliens, many of them criminal aliens. There's 550 billion for Green New Deal policies and tax breaks so congressional members from the Bronx can afford a new Tesla. Biden's broke back budget has another $330 billion to incentivize workers to stay home. Newsflash to the party of wealthy cities and wealthy elites. We have a worker shortage right now in America. We have an inflation crisis. This will only make things worse, much worse, not better. But let me guess, when things do get worse, as they inevitably, inevitably will, We'll need to reelect y'all sorry selves so you can fix it, right? No thanks, I'll pass, and I urge my colleagues to vote no on this monstrosity of a spending bill. And I yield back.